But let's see if Stalwart Esports can, as Zigsaw has been taken down, the next knock being secured. Hey, we might choke, but these players never do. Top securing three knocks. Stalwart Esports just slowly and steadily moving towards the edge of the circle might cause a world of hurt on the players of high voltage in the latest stage of the game. But in fact, the blue zone is pushing forward. Phantom Esports they are getting taken care of slowly and steadily. But Stalwart Esports now this is quite interesting. They are trying to fight two teams at the same time, and it's not going to be easy for them. They have to take care of Phantom Esports and high voltage, and while doing so, they have also got to get themselves towards the northern edge of the circle. But hey, look at this. He's it's two teams all on Star Wars Esports. They're not going to back off. Just finishing off Phantom Esports with a little help from the Blue Zone. And well taken care of the players of High Voltage. Wild G is going to be the last player surviving against the entirety of Star Wars Esports. And well top, he knows where Wadu is hiding. Wadu tries to step out and run away, but not being allowed to do so by top. Down to the top, five teams remaining in this game. Nine players still alive. Star Wars Esports, they're gonna be there. Up against DRS and Dead Eyes guys. Now, Dead Eyes guys have been spotted out. Top takes a few shots as well. Shifu is gonna be knocked out. Last two players remaining. Trying to run away from the blue, but from the flank, DRS putting up a lot of pressure on the last two remaining players from the side of Star Wars Esports. Pika is gonna be taken extremely low as well. Oh, Chari! Just a few pixels to the right. And we would have been a different story, sorry, towards the left, and we would have seen a different story, but Pika going for the secure on that elimination point, True Love making a run for the slope out in the open, behind the rock, the player spin down, a nade being lobbed in their direction, Mike Chef do the thing that takes him out, but a rotation with the right nick of time to next step that happening and the wall turf in return to the players of uh, BE, in fact the player of BE, not really accomplishing much for the players of Star Wars. And look at that, that nade's gonna crawl right next to the player of Dead Eyes, guys. Drew Love gets taken out, top two teams alive. Star Wars Esports versus DRS. This time the zone's not gonna be that mean to them, but unfortunately Action stepping out way too much out of his comfort zone, and he will be taken out this time. Stepping out of their comfort zone without any sort of info is not really a good thing. Action gets taken out, that means Star Wars Esports, they will now be a little bit shaken by that. But still, Sky closes on it. Won't try to get the rest back up on the ball again. But the big break is coming in too. Scarlet's getting against the place of John Mara. Mm -hmm. And John Mara will shut him down. What a nice retaliation fire. But also at the same time, Star Wars Esports helping out the players of John Mara. The placement of Star Wars Esports, they just need to be slow, very sneaky, just a few more seconds more, and that could be the end of the mice that they were waiting to bring on to the face of Star Wars as they have tried to deliver that onslaught. Virus has taken on the shots, but dude, I guess you were a bit too quick because you've given away your information as soon as you did. The side of Star Wars is not going to be so nice to you, but it seems like wow. they're still interested in a completely third party situation, and as they do, Team TUF. Talk about a domination though, Plotter. I mean, even a solo survivor has the entire powers to change the course of the game, Plotter. Yes. He can never rule out a solo player because he can decide which team he wants to be the winner of that game. And that exactly. solo player now is going to be left with another solo player of TUF, so that means it's a one on one on four situation. Star Wars Esports, all the odds stacked with them. At this point, you might as well just start driving vehicles inside the zone and try to find out and try to hunt down the players. Just be on an absolute purge. But Star Wars Esports, oh, make a rookie mistake. The weekly gets blown up. Joker, a great capitalization, but still three players alive. Star Wars Esports able to just capitalize on the position that Joker has. And now it's all down to the final man alive. It's all down to Siog. It's all down to indeed, and he's definitely trying to blow up that one little vehicle that he could see right next to Scribe, but he has not been able to deliver that. Top has already been brought down. Top will be eliminated, in fact. He will be able to get out. Well, definitely, and on the other side, the Star Wars Esports again. The players of QX Rage, and it's going to be action. First one knocked down, but that is going to be it. 52 X rates down to their last player night. Well, well, well. I mean, the situation so intense that even we can't keep up with this. But let's see if Star Wars Esports can. As Zigsaw has been taken down, the next knock being secured. Hey, we might choke, but these players never do. Top securing three knocks all in one push. Just absolutely impressive. Now, Zigsaw, he's getting a revive, but I don't think he's gonna get a complete revive. That's just the squad wipe right there. 
from the players of Star Wars Esport. Dude, whatever they carry, they're just not wanting to stop. I mean, the UMP men are definitely need to stop now because the way Star Wars is playing, they are completely demonic the way they're approaching these fights. Six elimination points already confirmed and that team with ease. And they are still not better. They are still not stoppable because every single team that they give their information to you are trying to retaliate but are not able to get those blocks or even the elimination but it seems like finally Steel Esports will be the one to bring in that massive blow to the face of Star Wars and into it so top the dude who was just legendary a few minutes ago has been stopped in his tracks but that's not going to stop his teammates because Cry is gonna cry for he's lost his teammate but he still will utilize that as an advantage as a motivation completely pins it down position and placement of Steel Esports so, just jump peeking, peeking from behind the smoke now with IA taken care of. The grounders, they can focus all their attention on Star Wars Esports. Who's going to come out on top in this 2v4v3 situation right now? It's going to be very intense. And Star Wars Esports, they make a run for it. Pika finding the opening, but top is going to be taken out in the crate. Gorma doing a brilliant job from the flank. Now, Star Wars Esports, are they aware of this? I don't think so. Well, maybe they are. Action finds the second. It's 2v2 between these two teams. One Ooh. more knock and Star Wars Esports. Bringing it down to a 1v1 and it's Pika making the push for the summit of the switch But the opposition has the HP advantage The barrel in his hands, the Molotov being lobbed towards the competition Will it connect? I don't think so As the players from the side of the grounders have managed to stay quite safe Now action is going inside the smoke Quiet has teamed with some extra bit of information But will it be enough? Now it's an all out duel between these two lads and so on Nine elimination points have been secured. Their intentions are quite clear. They won't take this exposition away from the players of DRS. Oh. And hey, Star Wars Esports lending a helping hand to the lads of JRMAR as well. Pika has managed to take down two players from inside of DRS in one single spray. And if they manage to eliminate the team at this point, that's extra points going to the lads of JRMAR. Oh, top crossing out in the open. The lifeline's not going to be given away this time. It's quite mean. And they have a pretty solid cover for themselves available when we talk about that when we act to PC Sport. Mafia Ninja! He's extremely lucky! And he's not anymore. Janmara on the other side of the zone as well are taking on shots against the players of Fest as they get eliminated on the first. We've got 11 teams remaining and Star Wars are just definitely hunkering down this placement from Skylight and will not be allowing Skylight to be able to walk out of this position as they get all the players of Skylight Gaming eliminated. Instead, they will have to fight their way inside the zone. Star Wars Esports, they're able to find these opening against high voltage without a doubt. Another nade tossed in, and top is gonna just, that's a money nade right there on the mark. Takes down another player, high voltage, it's all down to Probean, and Probean will crumble down under the pressure are in a bit of a tricky position but again for now there will be third parties that could maybe be the limelight for the side of t2k which we will come back to because right now it is Dalwart taking on the final player slipknot from the side of phantom esports as phantom get eliminated on the seventh they go down before it even happens and i eight they lose out on one of the players instantly Right after securing those few extra points. Now, Star Wars Esports, the floodgates have opened for the monsters. And Star Wars Esports, they're going to do their level best to secure as many points now. Get an advantage today and apply the pressure tomorrow. Will just also fail to secure the exit. But action with a nade is going to knock down AJ. And I believe that is just going to be a guaranteed finish for the players of Skylight Ga Star Wars Esports. From one of the lads of Skylight Gaming, Nima is going to be extremely low as well. One more shot, he's going to be taken out. Skylight Gaming destroyed in seconds. Even I8 can pull off a 3v4 clutch. It's not that difficult. So let's see. SDE in the meanwhile do look to finish off and are looking to deal with two X Rage Esports first. And they head there, instant finishes, more eliminations to Salvador Esports. They are going to be looking to eliminate a few more players. But oh, look at that top sees yet a from Phantom Esports out in the open and has managed to secure an easy point for himself. Slipknot is going to be taken down by action. Another point going towards Star Wars Esports. Four eliminations secured up until now in this match. And Star Wars Esports, look at that the domination. It continues. Three players still left alive. Eight eliminations secured so far in this match. And they have managed to gain quite an easy position towards the end of the zone. Freestyle have been out. Top going for a spray. Does manage to find the knock. Can he convert it as well? Two more shots, and whilst he is going to be finished off, and there it is, freestyle are down to their last two players. 
Oh, I see what just happened. The table got flipped against them. And Johnny, our boat's prediction, what just... Uh, this is something that I see cannot really afford. Again, the circle playing cruel games, and now the circle's gonna be shifting right on top of the compound of Stalwart Esports. And still, Phantom Esports are quite in it. And inside, or no, he's actually outside. He's just holding that little slick angle, and he's trying to move, play on some slick movement as well, but Mexi's not gonna get anything done. That Stalwart Esports are already in their movement, and now maybe they hear a little bit of kick kids giving away. And guys, guys, they will need to be as aware as possible. Him all the way to the right lines can decide to fall their game as Pika gets knocked out, but Frack Boy's quite exposed. He's gonna be quite exposed for a while now, but look at that, Usum in the back lines can in fact change this game for their eyes, guys. They have managed to secure the advantage. It's 2v3 with DE sitting at the top on the high ground. But how quickly can they secure this chicken dinner win as well? Top is going to be spotted out from the cliff top as well. Frag Boy is trying to find his way to this bottom area where the players of Star Wars Esports are holding on to their spot. A nade being lobbed towards Charlie. Will this connect? Oh. And yes, it does. Oh my god, my god! From Star Wars Esports connecting. Get us, guys. And down to the last player. Now it can come down. Stalwart Esports and the last player from my head and Uzum is just waiting for his opportunity right behind these two teams. He can in fact just steal the chicken dinner as well since Cry and Top are going to be extremely low but Kula with the ball top lined up perfect. He will catch anyone and the answer oh. is no. It's 2v1. Uzum, 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 U